Hey guys and welcome back to a new tutorial from me. For these who don't know me, I am Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. And today we will create this mesmerizing mock-up animation. And it's also at the same time a loop animation. And maybe it's also your first. So you will learn the most important basics for a loop animation. And you can also use it later on for your presentation of your own art. It is really simple and easy to change the sizes if you have different poster sizes that you create as me. And you can bring your artwork presentation to the next level. So let's start with the tutorial. I hope you like it. Let's go. The 3D, the 3D objects. objects. Wow, 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 wow! This is new. For my most loyal fans, there's of course the project file for free. A numeral code appears in my video. After the release, you have 48 hours to download the files in my Dropbox folder. The number will appear in the top left corner. And the code is splitted and you have to search it. But for my loyal fans, it's not a problem because they always watch the whole video. So have fun rendering, guys. All right, let's start with the tutorial. First, we go here to the render settings and change the width and height to 1080 to 1080 pixels to get our render region. And we also change here the frame range to all frames. So, first we will create our plane that will be later on our poster. And for this, we go here to the side to plane object and we change the values um, to our poster size. I always have a poster size uh, 1080 to 1350 pixels. And I searched on Google for a calculator. I wrote it here inside and I get the right sizes for uh, my poster in centimeters. Then you can go here to this tag and you can add your size. So this is the size and we also have to increase the segments by 70 uh, to 75 in width and height. So we can later on uh, use our deformer on the poster. And in the next step, we will create here this roll. And for this, we need a cylinder. These are the sizes for the cylinder. I already scaled it down. And you have to change uh, the orientation to minus X, like this. And we also want that the edges are rounded. And for this, we go here under the caps tag, increase the caps segments to 10. Here we put a check mark and change the values to 50 and 0 0.4. Perfect. In the next step, we add our deformer. And for this, we need the bend deformer and put it under our plane. And the deformer is important that we get here our poster um, bended. And then we have to go to the bend deformer and here we have to change the values to 1, 2.3 and 11.4. And we increase the strength to 190. And then we go here under coordinates and change the orientation to minus 90 and minus 90. And now we have our perfect banded uh, form. Then we have to take our cylinder and put it here between. And as you can see, it's too small. So we increase both sides, every side to 1.1, like this. Perfect. And now, if we take the bend deformer and our roll and we change the position, we have already the most important thing for our animation later on. Okay, so in the next step, we will add our camera. And for this, we go here under the redshift tag and we put here a camera inside and we push the button. And we want to um, look straight on on our poster. So we change here the value to zero and here to minus 90, that we have the perfect view on it. All right, in the next step, we will model the 
uh, rest of the roll and the handle. And for this, we duplicate first our cylinder and we change here the value to 0 0.2. Uh, and we go here under coordinates and increase the value to a good size, like this. Then we duplicate also the cylinder and bring it a little bit to the side that we see it and change again the scale value to something like this. And then we also duplicate it and bring it also to the other side. In the next step, we will create here this handle. And for this, we need a new cylinder. And here, we change the values to 0 0.4 and 9. And we change the rotation to plus Z, put it a little bit down. And then we duplicate it also and changed, changed the values here under coordinates to this values. And here we go also to caps and choose filet to get round edges. Right, in the next step, we need our pen tool here on the side and we have to start to draw from this point here. Then we need here a curve and then we go to the center. And if you are ready, we have to select our circle spline. Then we take a radius from 0 0.2 and then we search for sweep and we put it all under it. And now we have our abstract shape and we have to bring it now to the right position on not with the point, the whole object like this. And in the next step, you search for symmetry and put it also under it. And now you have your perfect abstract shape. And we go again out of our camera view and we select everything. So no, first we need only this. Now it fits perfectly. And now we have to scale it together like this. So now we have um, the most important things in our scene. In the end, we add the plane as a background here. Okay, um, this is perfect now for our animation. This is the values for the plane. And, uh, and as you can see, it's a little bit from the side. And to get this position, we have to took everything of our scene and we have to rotate it a little bit like this. This is perfect. And now we have only the background that we have to fix with our render region. Guys, it would mean a lot to me if you follow me on my social media channels. I post the regularly short tutorials about Cinema 4D and Blender. There you can also vote for further projects and you get also informed about free project files. Thank you so much guys and you find the link in the caption. And now we came to... The Materials. The materials. Alright, now we came to the material part. I already opened the Redshift Render View. If you don't know where it is, it's here. <laughs> and then you have to press play. All right, and I already uh, created a dome light. Um, with the dome light, you can add uh, HDRI map. The dome light you can find here. And you have to go here under this folder to insert a HDRI map. And my HDRI map looks like this. I also uh, increased the custom gamma value to 1.3 and the intensity multiplier to 3. It's um, the custom gamma make everything a little bit uh, more contrast and the intensity multiplier may make everything a little bit lighter. If your render is too dark, you know here you can increase the lightning. All right, now we came to the materials. For this, you have to open the material window. You can find it here. And now we start with the first material. 
And as you can see, it's the beton wall in the background and the material looks like this. Um, it's a normal material that I uh, created. These are uh, my values to get this effect. And then I searched for texture. There I uh, put a beton uh, picture inside. And uh, yeah, with the scale value, I played around that it fits perfectly on our plane. And with the offset values that we get later on, a perfect loop when it came to the poster change here later on. Yeah. So that are not no interactions. You need these values here around. And I also use the texture because it's a black and white texture as a bump map. And the texture is one time the basement color. And the color is also in the metalness output to get a glossy uh, look. And the bump map here is uh, also with the geometry bump map connected. And that's it. And the picture of the wall looks like this. All right, if you are ready, you can drag and drop the material to the right position. And this is here. Perfect. In the next step, we will create our poster material. And uh, these are my values. And I also wanted that the whole poster is a little bit of gl uh, glossy, the inside. Oh, here's something hidden behind the tag. And um, yeah, these are my values. Here's not more necessary of uh, only the reflections tag. And this is my poster. It fits perfectly to our plane size, so you don't have to remap nothing. And I also get there the beton texture. So it looks like that the texture of the beton wall is going through the paper. So that the beton texture is also on the poster texture. And for this, I also searched here again for texture, connected with a bump map and connected it with the geometry bump map and base metalness that it gets a little bit reflections um, on the poster that you can see, okay, there's a bump map. And that's it. Now you can put the material on the poster with drag and drop. And it looks like this now. And as you can see, here's also the beton texture of the wall inside of the poster now. And we have also cool reflections of a glossy paper. All right, in the next step, we will create our metal, metalness textures for the handle and for the roll. And it's nothing special. It's one time here a metalness um, material. Here I change a little bit the color and these are my values. It's a black glossy metal material. Then you can drag and drop it to the roll outside, like this. Ah, no, sorry. It was uh, the material for the other stuff, not for the roll. You can put it everywhere you want, but not on the outside roll here. <laughs> All right, I put it everywhere. And now we put the outside material of the roll. And for this, it's the same material. Here I only changed the color. And these are my values. So it's not a much difference. And yeah, you can drag and drop it to the roll. And now you have the black material there behind it. And that's it for the materials. You want my project file? You can get it. On Patreon, you can find my project with all textures I use. There you can also support me as an artist, so I can create more cool stuff for you. And a very big thank you for my Patreons. You are the best. And now we came to... The animation. Alright, now we came to the last part, the animation. And we also want a loop animation. And that uh, it's here really important that the background texture matches all the time. And for this we have to duplicate the background. And as we can see, we have to bring it to the side, like this. And if you go out of the camera, you can see 
it uh, not matched perfectly. So in my example, it fits perfectly because I repeat uh, the wall and I rotate it at 180 degrees. So you can go here and rotate by 180 degrees. And now you have the wall matching like this. Then in the third time, you have to copy and paste the wall again. Here you have to go uh, change the value again to zero. Repeated three times, but this was the most important thing about loop animation. The start and the end have to look the same. All right, now we animate everything. And for this, we select our 3D object and the band deformer and put everything out of our render region. And now we have to animate the band deformer 3D object separately because there are issues, if not. So we start with the band deformer, set here a keyframe, then we go to frame 90, put the band deformer up until the whole poster is rolled out and we set a new keyframe. Now we repeat everything for our 3D object, our roll, like this. And here we have to watch uh, that it fits perfectly so we don't go directly to uh, frame 90. First some, somewhere between, like this. Here we insert a new keyframe. Then we put everything more up, like this. And then to our final position to the end and a new keyframe. And now, as you can see, it don't fit perfectly. So you have all the time change. Maybe you have a better solution, but now everything fits. In the next step, we choose our null object, rotate it a little bit like this, set a new keyframe. Then we select everything again and bring it again out of our render region. All right, so in the next step, we need a uh, pause. And then we have to select everything again, but not uh, the camera and not the dome light and bring it somewhere here, set a new keyframe. And then you have to switch the position of the whole animation like this. And now you have to switch. And in the next step, you have to copy and paste everything of our animation. So that's the plane and the null object. Copy and paste. So it's here now. And so we already animated our post and our role. We can copy and paste our animation uh, keyframes. And you can do it if you go here on the window to Timeline Dope Street. So you get a new window and you already copy and paste it. So uh, they are overlaying now. Can go out of the window if you press the button here. And you have to uh, increase, of course, the whole animation duration. <laughs> okay. But now we go to the point where the poster stop. We have our uh, null object and plane. This is this. And now you can bring it here to the side, to the right position. So now if we hit play, it's like bam, bam, switch to the side. Bam, bam, copy and pasted our animation. In the end, you have to bring the switch to the side again, and then you are back in your end position. Well done, Art Invaders. If you want to support me, subscribe to the channel or follow me on Instagram or TikTok. It would be so great if you leave a short message that you are here from this tutorial. So I know you are a real person that like my stuff and nobody else. Mm hmm. There you can also tag me at Art Invader and I will repost as a thank you your artwork in my stories. Mm hmm. And you can also suggest some artists for the next video. It would be also really interesting to see someone out of my bubble. So, uh, by the way, you like this video? Show it with a like or a comment. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next week.